This is a video on testing for the difference between variances. The question states, a researcher is looking at the number of years it takes men and women to complete college. Is there a difference between the variances? Use a level of significance alpha equals 0 0.05. And here's the data that's given. They asked men and women how many years it took to complete college, and these are the numbers. So since we're testing to find out if there's a difference between variances, our null hypothesis, H0, is sigma squared for the men is equal to sigma squared for the women. The men's variance equals the women's variance. And the alternative hypothesis, HA, is sigma m squared is not equal to sigma w squared because we're asking if there is a difference, not if men is bigger than women or if women is bigger than men for the variance. So at this point, let's use our calculator. So here's the calculator, and I want to start by putting in my data. So I go to stat, and then enter for edit. Let's clear out L1 and L2. And now I type in my data. So I have 4, enter, 4.5, enter, and then I type in all the rest of the data. And for L2, I'm going to put in the women's data. So 5, enter, 4, enter, etc. Okay, now I've finished typing in the data. So at this point, I go to stat again. And I go to tests, and I want to do an F test for the difference between two variances. That's easier to find by using the up arrow until I get to two SAMP F test. That's a test to test if two variances are different or one is bigger than the other, etc. So I type enter, and I do want data, so I go enter for data. My list 1 should be L1, and list 2 should be L2, because that's where I put the men and women's data in. And the frequency are 1 and 1. And remember, we're testing to see if there's a difference between the variances. So sigma 1 is not equal to sigma 2. And I hit calculate. So there's my two sample F test. Notice that our F is 0 0.604 about, and the p-value, that's what I'm most interested in, is 0 0.43948, etc., or about 0.44. So let's go back to the PowerPoint, knowing that the p-value is about 0 0.44. Okay, so the p-value is about 0 0.44, and recall when the p-value is large, that means we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So I'm ready to state the conclusion. I can conclude that there is insufficient evidence to make a conclusion about there being a difference in the standard deviations of years to complete college based on gender. And I'm done with the problem.